And we're six days away from the June 5th recall election. A new poll shows Governor Walker with an advantage over Mayor Barrett. Good evening, I'm Eric Franke. And I'm Sarah Carlson. First tonight at 10, the numbers released today from the Marquette Law School. They show 52% of voters said that they would vote for Governor Walker, while 45% were for Mayor Tom Barrett. But Democrats refute the numbers, saying that their polling shows the race in a dead heat. Our campaign 2012 coverage continues with the night team's Andy Choi asking voters how they are dissecting the new poll. Well, let's start with the Democrats. Party chair Mike Tate alleges conservative dollars help pay for this MU poll. Charles Franklin, the Marquette professor who oversaw the poll, tells News 3 that's simply not true. Hoping to surge their energy with less than a week to go, Democratic supporters welcomed its candidate, Tom Barrett, to Madison's Majestic Theater. While Barrett took the stage addressing the need for transparency under the dome, his supporters are looking into and questioning just how the latest Marquette poll collected its stats. Polls call people who voted before. They're not talking to the people who suddenly have seen what's happened in the past year and are a lot more energized to actually vote than they've ever been before. I think it's wonderful that he came down here and he was here to talk about agriculture in the state of Wisconsin and that's what we're all about here. We are an ag business and it's good that he's promoting it. Meanwhile, Governor Walker spent some time in Janesville visiting ag company Mid-State Equipment. Now, Walker supporters obviously feeling confident about the governor's lead in the Marquette poll. Professor Franklin, who again oversaw that poll, says a single-digit lead for Walker is pretty consistent across most independent polls. All right, thanks for that feedback, Andy. You're welcome.